My head and my blood just starts to leak Psychopaths tie me to a leash Do not let me free Don't just see the other side of me Let me free All these demons taking over me They just wanna see me go to sleep Falling deep I just see the darkness taking What's going on guys? It's I'm Buddha and Xeno to we're back with another reaction man. Today we're here with a new video. This is called the story of Minecraft's greatest seed hunt. I've never heard of this actually. But I remember back in the days, you know, on the Xbox and stuff, um seeds were fucking crazy, you know. You would always, I remember going on YouTube and like or just Google searching yeah. up like best seeds best and seeds, stuff yeah. or like seeds were like monster spawners nearby or like diamonds nearby you yeah. know what i'm saying i i just remember putting it in my notes and all that and every time we would play a game we'll you know what i'm saying we'll look for a good seed and stuff nowadays i mean you don't really see it as much anymore people just ran, like render a, a random world and you're gonna get lucky you know what i'm saying yeah. i feel like nowadays is way easier to play uh minecraft than what it was back then you know what i'm saying because the caves are crazy now, you know what I'm saying? You can find diamonds easily. You don't have to strip mine or anything. I, the, I mean, hello ores and shit now. Go check out our Minecraft series that we got. But um, we, me and one of my friends, we went, we were trying to strip mine, and then we searched it up, and it said like, oh yeah, there's no point of strip mining anymore. Yeah, nah. Cause caves nowadays are just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, without further ado, if you guys enjoy, those drop a like, subscribe. Also, if you guys have a seed that you guys used to use back in the days. And still remember the seed? Let us know down below. You know what I'm saying? That would be dope as fuck. Because mm -hmm. I know some people would come up with like some creative ass names and shit. For seeds or like numbers and stuff. Yeah. I can't really remember none of ours to be honest. Team of seed investigators realized there was a seed hidden in the background of this painting. But oh, they what? weren't the only ones. A single seed finder would unknowingly race against the entire team. But did either of them actually find the seed? And I mean you know how they found the I seed mean, for, the, for the default texture pack? picture like wait what do you mean that you know the texture pack the default minecraft texture pack you know has the picture like yeah. of the little mountain with the water they found that seed bro that's crazy to me though like how people can see something they're like i think that's an easter egg i just see it as like oh just picture, picture, picture. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's crazy so yeah. people are just you know like they're creative as hell bro like i've always looked at this picture bro i never thought about it being a seed yeah you know what i'm saying I mean, like, it's all pixelated you can't really tell what it's like it, i mean you can tell what it is but like you can't tell what it is you know what yeah mean? i mean that's just crazy find the seed and how did it all start i mean that looks kind of like this. A... it's the 8th of june and the seed hunters only have one thing on their mind finding a clearer image of the skull and fire painting after all the background of the painting had been hiding through the game's pixels for years forcing the investigators to visit christopher zetter's trans website who is the artist behind nearly every Damn. painting in minecraft oh, including the skull painting but there was one serious problem <laughs> All these Minecraft paintings weren't just unpixelated now, but they were actually painted, making them totally useless to the investigation, as the ah. details the seed hunters needed were just way too inaccurate but super cool to look at. But this wasn't the end of the road. An investigator named Tom emailed Christopher directly, asking if he still had in-game images of the Skull Seed location, and then they nervously waited for a reply. Two weeks went past, and surprisingly, Christopher oh, had answered his question, telling Tom the chances were nearly impossible, but that he yeah. would do some digging. And to Christopher's own amazement, he had found it. An exact original oh, in-game oh, screenshot. That's crazy, That's how he came up with bro. that picture, bro. I mean, yeah, I mean, he needed in-game. I was about to say, I mean, you need the creativity of what you're doing, you know, like the game that's, and stuff. That's crazy. Dude, that's crazy, oh, bro. Shit. And this is back in the days of Minecraft. You could tell. Yeah, it, right? fucking grass looks Look at that. weird, bro. Look at the water, bro. Blue. <laughs> Look at the water. It's blue. That's what I was trying Yo, to say. The painting was actually based on. Like, this was a huge step you know, for the like, team, but the odds were still yeah, against like them, as the in-game screenshot was in horrible quality. However, the team were determined hey. to get to the bottom of this. Now, this part is ridiculously crazy to me, because the investigators managed to find the dimensions of the monitor Christopher actually used to take the screenshot originally. Nah. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering, how did they figure that out? Well, Dude, what? Yeah, wow. what the fuck? Oh, let me explain. 
You see, in early versions of the game, taking screenshots was impossible, so Christopher had to resort to screenshotting his entire desktop and using the only information on when the screenshot was saved. Tom and the rest of the investigators were able to collect a clearer image using an artificial intelligence. Dude, that this is and crazy. Made a screenshot in a higher quality altogether. Although clearing up the image even with artificial intelligence wasn't the easiest job, it had to be trained on how to recognize Minecraft images. And one of the most interesting problems that the investigators faced was when using nighttime screenshots. As they were so dark, they had to teach the AI how to brighten it. So with the AI creating a clearer... Now, this is crazy to me, bro. Yeah. People, bro, going through this shit all day, trying to figure this out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. You might not get anything out of it. But, I mean, I guess people get I mean, people get motivated to, f like, just find out. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and it's like... I don't know. Like, it's just dope to find things out like that. Like Exactly what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me, bro. I would never... I don't know. I guess it's just me. But... I feel like it's a lot of time, you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, definitely. But shout out to the people that do this. That's dope as fuck. As they were so dark, they had to teach the AI how to brighten it. Like, they taught so an the AI, AI creating bro. a clearer screenshot. And the realization that the day of when the screenshot was exported was in 2010. The investigators realized the screenshot could have only been captured in one Minecraft version, Alpha 1.1.2, which narrowed things down significantly. Oh, and there were also other images that backed up that evidence, what? such as a screenshot of Christopher testing multiplayer with Notch on a lower with version what? of Minecraft two months prior, narrowing things down even more. So after discovering the version of Minecraft the original image was taken on, and getting hold of a higher quality version altogether, it was time for the team to try matching the screenshot to the perspective of what you would see in game. To put it simply, they had to stand on the right block. Well, sort of. Since the image was cropped, they had to match the top of Steve's hand and where the crosshair would have been if it wasn't edited out. Oh. But thankfully, bits and pieces still remained in the image, and it was aligned perfectly. The next thing they looked at was the orientation of the moon. Can you believe oh. it? The moon. As in older versions, the oh, sun and moon what? both rise in the north, being upright and set in the south upside down. So the investigators knew the image was facing north. The that's, next thing they looked at were the clouds. Crazy, since cl bro. Exactly what I'm saying, bro. Like, these people are detectives, bro. Literally, bro. They're looking at a moon in a video game, bro. And they're like, this means something. Yeah, bro. The clouds aren't just a random loop of textures, allowing them to figure out a relatively good idea of where Christopher was standing whilst taking the screenshot. Talk about being a Minecraft forecaster. I had no <laughs> idea this was even possible. What Here's a diagram of how they calculated the clouds. Bro, I still what? have no idea how it works. They calculated but regardless, the clouds. It's pretty cool to look at. Oh, and fun fact the cloud method that they used is also how griefers can find your base, even yeah. if your coordinates are hidden. Wait, how did you find me? Clouds. The clouds? The clouds. Since the investigators what? knew the amount of time the world was played on, they were able to match up the location even more accurately than before, since the clouds constantly move in one direction. Mm. But once the investigators had figured out the closest location Christopher could have been standing, they started examining the flower patches inside of the image. Oh, they expected that's to crack crazy, the seed bro. pretty quickly using their placement, as there were only a total of two flower patches. Now that probably yeah. sounds completely wrong, but this is where the investigation takes a real turn. It turns out the third flower patch was actually a super rare occurrence, containing 18 individual flowers. This wasn't oh, just confusing for the shit. investigators, but misleading, as they didn't know whether to count the flower patches they were looking at as two patches that appeared to be one, or three individual groups of flowers. Mm. So which one would help them get closer to the sea? Despite the doubt, the investigators focused their attention on the bigger patch of flowers, hoping it would give the answers they needed. But what they were about to discover next would completely shock them. <gasps> yeah, yeah, that, that wasn't really needed. My bad. Let me introduce you to <laughs> Andrew, a seed finder who believed the answers were still hidden within the flowers. It just needed time. So he did exactly Damn, that, focusing bro. entirely on the flowers alone, leaving the team behind and unknowingly starting a race to who could uncover the seed first. Oh, shit. Yeah. Would it be Tom and the rest of the investigators? Time would only tell, because the results the investigators had uncovered would set them back a mile. The team had found nothing. That's right, the coordinates were wrong, and just like that, it seemed like they were back at square one. But Damn. there was one last chance. You see, they could use the height of dirt blocks to get a more accurate position on where Christopher stood, and chunk barriers to get a better alignment, giving them the opportunity to set up a server and recreate the score and fire location, in-game, block for block. With of Bro. course the help of their most skilled oh, yeah. builders and an overlay website that would update every five seconds. Yeah, I would no say, I've, I've learned this on uh, I've seen a video from Fitch recently, how like yeah. 2B2T 
uh, like these hackers like were able to find people's houses oh. and like their locations and shit and I'm like damn that's crazy to me bro people go out of their time like their days to do all that shit is crazy to me bro yeah. I don't fucking know dude <laughs> what the fuck I thought I, I thought I was a gamer bro the overlay website that would update every five seconds leaving no room for error to their recreation of the score and fire scene damn. however as Tom and the rest of the investigators started running forward with the next attempt Andrew had been focusing all of his energy into the flower coordinates. He knew there was something special about them, as patches with over 12 flowers are considered to be a one of a kind, and mm. this world had 18. Because of this, he developed his own code to be 1000 times faster than what the investigators oh. had been originally working at, and Damn. fortunately for him, he also had no bugs or technical issues when developing this code, allowing oh, him to do shit. it all from his own computer, worry free. But there was one issue, despite Andrew's method having no technical issues, it still had a 5% chance of being completely wrong. And Damn, if so, yeah. he would have been thrown off the entire search, just like Tom and the rest of the investigators. To add to this, if and when he would find the seed, he would still have to narrow it down himself, without the help of code to truly find the seed. But Andrew was clearly onto something, and after a couple days of searching, that something would finally reveal itself. Damn, bro. Andrew had sent an image to Tom and the rest of the investigators, with the caption, painting, but there's snow everywhere. The investigators went crazy. Was this actually the seed? They interrogated Andrew and questioned his every <laughs> method <I'm telling> you. <laughs> and Bro. Oh, fuck you find it <laughs> wait that's the seed the snow dude it's i mean you bro but the thing is that the seed the flowers are yellow right yeah, there yeah the dandelions or whatever i'm trying to remember did did the weather change like that back in minecraft back in the days i don't remember yeah. i thought it was certain biomes only i didn't remember it like changing like that uh, I thought it just snowed on every place. Like, I don't remember, I, I don't, bro. I don't remember. Like, I, I thought it would just like either rain, snow, or like just be plain. Damn, what? I don't really remember either. No, everywhere. The investigators went crazy. Was this <laughs> actually the seed? They interrogated Andrew and questioned his every method and technique. Damn. And what would you know? He'd finally found the seed. Although, Damn. why was it covered in snow? And what were the finer details to Andrew's search? You see, Andrew had optimized his code to run 36 billion times per second. Damn. And impressively enough, he managed to pull it off, allowing him to filter it all down to 80 possible seeds. Where he oh. might have picked the correct world. Or worlds, should I say. Since Andrew had discovered two near identical seeds generated oh, with the exact same landscape, what? which is quite common with seed hunting. And for the snow, well, it turned out to be a simple feature in early versions of Minecraft, where there was a 25% chance that the world would generate with snow. So after ah. Andrew focused on the flower patches, coded an entire different way of getting to the seed, and being interrogated by other fellow investigators, Andrew had officially won the seed finding race. Damn, shout the out Andrew, bro. The that's first just crazy. To discover the seed tucked secretly behind the skull and fire painting. That's crazy. So the next time you place a painting and the skull appears, remember, there's a lot more behind it than what meets the eye. But, but I, I bro, you know what? In our Minecraft world, I'm going to place down a painting and I'm going to try to get that one. I'm gonna be like, shout out Andrew. Hmm. But what are you gonna say? I was gonna say, I wonder if, like, if they could find that same world in the new version of Minecraft, though. Mm. But now that, like, terrain generation is different and everything. I was gonna say, I mean, I don't know, maybe. Is that even possible to get, like, an old world like that in the new version? I think it's just different worlds. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, clearly. I mean, like, erase. They probably erased all the other ones, you know what I'm saying? And just. Or I don't know. Y'all let me know. I mean, that's crazy, though. Like,. Yeah. Damn. The painting and the skull appears. Remember, there's a lot more behind it than what meets the eye. Yeah. There's one major problem. After watching this video and finding the seed, you're going to want to watch another. But don't worry, the video on screen is just as good. Hey. Shout out to bro, man. This is crazy, you know what I'm saying? He keeps them compact too. They're all eight minutes. Yeah, that's what I say. And, uh,. Shout out everybody part of this, you know, that mm. we're able to find a seed. Shout out Andrew, you know, he went beyond. That's crazy to me. I still can't even, like, process that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people out there that are that crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, intelligent as fuck. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of that. If y'all didn't enjoy those, drop a like, subscribe. What's the next time? Peace out.